Hi beauties, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today's video, we have a spring outfit ideas video. Plus I'm gonna share what's on my spring wish list as well because I have to pace myself because I saw a few cute things and I'm like, wait a second, hold on. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? So I had to relax, pull back a little bit, but I wanna share some cute things that I did find while, you know, of course, coming up with outfit ideas and just doing what I do best, which is shop. You know, that's my that's my talent. Um, but I have some spring outfit inspo for you guys. I tried to find things in my closet that I most recently uh, purchased, so you guys can um, purchase too. But really more so get some outfit inspo. Um, make sure you guys, um, I talk about Shakur on my channel all the time, but I had commented on her last video and she was shopping in H&M and like our favorite stores and we were talking about like is fashion boring, like maybe high street or the fashion that I can afford anyways, is it boring? And I feel like it might be a little boring, but I've been finding for myself that I've been just going back in my closet and of course I'm gonna buy things here and there, but just kind of finding ways to rework what's in my closet, finding new ways to accessorize things, finding a new way to wear something, trying to take something and style it a different way like this blazer thing is like two years old from Zara and I was like oh this is really cute so again just finding what's in my wardrobe and trying to rework it so I hope this video gives you some great style inspo to rework what's in your closet and find different ways to wear things so with that being said let me know how you feel about just fashion in general has it been boring what do you guys think? Because sometimes like I find something good and I'm like let me find like five ways to wear this because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything else but anyways, let's get into the outfits. I'm gonna have my phone because I shot the, all these outfits. I believe there are about 10 outfits that I shot prior um, to recording me talking and I'm not gonna remember all of them. But I guess the first one I wanna share because this jacket, and I hope it's still available. I had wanted it and then I got a gift card that I won like from work and I was like, I'm ordering right now. So let me show you guys. You guys know. Red is my favorite color of the season. Um, and this Topshop trench that I got from, um, what did I get it from, Nordstrom. It was like the last few sizes. I remember ordering it. I think I shared it on my community board. I shared it with you guys and I was like, oh my God, order it. Ordered it and you know what happened that time? They were like, oh sorry, we can't fulfill your order and that was that and then I just forgot about it. But then it came back up and then I got it. So hopefully it's available. But guys, she's just a moment on her own. like. She doesn't need anything else. Literally styling it, I just wore it with a white t-shirt, jeans, and that was that. And like, I love red and white together, but of course, I feel like I wanna have a great monochromatic moment with this jacket. Um, I was scared because this is a US size six and I usually like my coats and jackets to be a little bit bigger. So they didn't have the eight and this was like the last one on Nordstrom. So I was like, let me just get the six. If it's perfect, it's oversized, so it fits really, really well. So I love it. If I find it, I'll find other things that are similar. But if you are a girl who just like, you know what, I have things in my closet, nothing's really sparking joy, get you a jacket. You know I love jackets and coats. So this was the first thing that I was super excited about. So I styled them with these jeans that you guys saw in my last vlog, my New York City vlog shopping with my best friend, um, with these jeans and those Jeffrey Campbell pointed patent shoes that he has made in so many different colors and varieties that I love. So. I stand, I stand that jacket. So the next thing that I shared, um, I told you guys H&M has some cute spring finds. So I got this set, it sold separately. I hopefully it comes back in stock. If you have an H&M near you, I would definitely check out H&M in store because they might have it. But this, I just got the skirt and the bottom. And first I was like, I didn't like them together. I wasn't sure how I actually felt about them together. I'm like, does it look I don't know, I, I wanted to edge it up a little bit. Like I was like, this does this look too safe? I don't know, I wanted to edge it up a little bit so I added like my Frankie Shop leather jacket, my St. Laurent heels, um, you know, and my Bottega like cat eye sunglasses. And I was like, okay, let me wear this. How would I wear this separately? I would wear this with jeans, but then I was like with the skirt, I took my Pixie Market top and these sunnies. Oh my God, these sunnies from H&M. You guys have got to get them. They look, oh no. They, they look super expensive and they're not. They actually remind me of a Bottega pair that I wanted. So they're clear, like a, like a taupey clear and they have like a gold reflective lens. So I put that on with these, like look at these. 
they're like $12. I believe they come in black. You can't really see that the lens is gold, but it is, and it's so cute, guys. Like, it's so cute. So get these, if anything. These, I believe, are still available. But I was like, I know the set, I'm gonna wear it different ways because it's so important to get the wear out of your clothes, but what do you guys think of the skirt? Do you like this set? Do you like the top? Do you like the skirt? So I tried to style it two different ways. Tell me what you guys think. So next, you guys saw me wear these pants to work. So this is what I mean when I say shop for your lifestyle. So these, you guys know I love the Frankie shop. So I actually wanna share two pants. One you probably saw on shorts and on Instagram if you're not following me there, please do. Um, so the first pair of pants are these asymmetric black pants, tailored pants that I love from the Frankie shop. One thing I love about the Frankie shop is that the pants are tall girl friendly. So if you are one and above, what, 30 inch inseam, try the Frankie shop. So I love these pants. Here I just have it on with the bodysuit from Abercrombie. Um, I styled it for work with just like a white t-shirt and a crop blazer, but for here, how I wear it kind of out day to day are my sheer, I'm wearing them with my sheer Steve Madden shoes. I'll bring them over so I can show you guys, but I love these shoes. I shared them last time on a haul that I didn't get them yet, but they're so comfy, so great. So if you were thinking about them, pick them up. So I wore it here with my St. Laurent Sunnies that I'm obsessed with. That's a new, that's a new buy as well. Love those sunnies because you can wear them indoor and outdoor. And I just thought this was like very chic and easy. This is just something that I would naturally just wear. Um, and it's cool too because either I'm wearing shoes of course here because the pants are longer, but whether you want to wear a pair of sneakers with it, um, a pair of loafers, it still goes, it's easy, it's chic, it's simple, it's everything. Next pair of jeans, you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about these jeans, but this is probably my favorite pair of jeans. I can't help it. Uh, these balloon <laughs> jeans from the Frankie shop, uh, not balloon, but they call them barrel jeans. If you guys were thinking about getting a pair of barrel jeans or you're unsure about them, check them out. So these from the Frankie shop are awesome because they have the two-tone in them, but I will link some of my favorite pairs from the where, Free People, um, but these are going to be trending big for spring. So um, I styled them like four or five ways. I love them. Um, you guys know I live for a baggy jean. Just a baggy, easy jean, and these are it. Um, these run really large, because this is a size small, um, and I don't wear size small in bottoms, but these are, run really big. And I believe from the ones from Free People, they run a little bit smaller, so I would definitely go up a size, but how easy are these jeans, and how cool looking? Like, you know, I wore them with my tweed blazer, I wore them with a white blazer, I would wear them with a t-shirt. Like, the ways to wear them are endless, and if you're somebody who loves like a casual, easy going outfit, and you just, you just want to be easy, simple, breezy. Get you a pair of barrel jeans. I promise you. I promise you. I'm I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I wish I could wear these to work, but I can't. So, <laughs> love that. So, the next outfit, let me go in my phone because I'm forgetting. Oh, so remember the <laughs> the denim trench coat um, from the vault label? I feel like this is something in my wardrobe that I forget I have. I don't wear it as much as I should. And again, that's my problem. That's my big problem. I don't wear the things that I have enough. So um, I'm gonna talk about the outfit I have on today here, but this skirt, you guys know I got it from Mango. Um, with a bodysuit, I wore it with my loafers from Mark Nolan. Uh, Mark Nolan has launched, launched their new women's shoe line, so I will link those shoes down below. But I wore it with um, the pair of Mark Nolan shoes, easy peasy with my Loewe like um, glasses, the Pisa sunglasses, and this is such a cute, easy look, day to day. Again, it's simple, but I'm wearing something that I already have. And then, of course, the outfit that I have on, I was like, oh my god, this faux leather blazer, I had it years ago, it's hanging up on my IKEA pack system, I don't wear it enough, I just thought this was so cute together, um, just kind of the mix of textures and just kind of having something else layered with the skirt. Um, of course, wearing with my gold uh, platforms from Zara, I really, really love this outfit. And then back to the denim, I told you guys about these parasexist boots that I like. I don't wear enough either. So here I'm styling it with a mini skirt and this white t-shirt that I got from H&M is new in. It's padded shoulders. I was going to return it because I was on the fence because it runs really, really large, like the medium. It's tucked in my skirt, but if you take it out, it's like so big. But I was like, let me let me try and play with it. So I tucked it in, um, my mini skirt, my full leather mini skirt from H&M with the boots. Amazon Sunnies, we have we have an outfit. So I feel like my spring, what are my three words for springs? I feel like um, minimalistic, hints of edge, 
and just keeping it clean um not overthinking it right not overthinking it like effortless effortless is the word so let me know what you guys think of this these looks um let's get into my spring wish list so we change the location so let's get into the spring wish list of fashion items that I want that I want so first off I just want to show you guys the Steve Madden shoes up close um, they're the sheer dupes that I shared before but they're I wore them out last week they're really comfortable it gives what needs to be give and I'll give in and I like the heel um, it's a really great height and they're actually really really comfortable and I feel like I never say that about heels but these are so the first pair of shades I had got these I love them um, from Saint Laurent because I love how they're like eyeglasses not eyeglasses but you can wear them indoors outdoors and I love that and I love like this little detail bar here so I got these but now on the wish list is the beige like transparent loose like lucent ones that have like a little gold bar I'm like do I need those for spring I don't know I just feel like now that I'm so obsessed with these um just wearing them on the daily I'm like I think I need the other color so <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that um I don't have many luxury items on my wish list um let me know what you think about the next thing so I have the Gucci denim platforms from like a few years ago I believe like from 2020 and I still wear them every now and then they are pretty heavy but when I saw these um, Gucci platform shoes like on the runway with like the new creative director um, I was like I think I love them I really really like them now I had a pair of Jeffrey Campbell platform like loafers before and I'll be honest I didn't wear them as much and the price on these are $1,500 and I love them I think they I will wear them even what I have on I will wear them but I'm like well I wear them enough to pay $1,500 I don't know or will I wear them a few times and be done with them you guys already know I have the Gucci sling back so I'm like is there really a need for this or is it really just a want I can get like a, a basic color like a black or a cream but I don't know if it's gonna be if it's filling any holes to spend that much money let me know what you guys think I'm sure a lot of people think they're ugly but I think they're an acquired taste and I think they're really cool because you can wear them with jeans you know I'll bring them right to work I'll wear them right to the office so that's the first thing um, the next um, thing on my wish list was I was just shopping around looking around and my best friend put me on to Farm Rio and they have a really really cool dresses pretty dresses that are all like I would say the dresses and things that I like range from like $200 to about $600 and $600 is pretty expensive for a dress so I saw this one which is giving mermaid I feel like this is not my style but somebody will kill this dress. Like, how cool is this dress? Like, it's so beautiful. Love this dress. I really love this striped dress as well. It's, like, short. It's mini. It's really, really cute. I'm into it. And then I saw this dress. And I put it in the cart. And it's $600. But it's, like, this raffia dress. I believe it just sold out. I put it in my cart. And they were like, it's one left. And I'm like, do I need that? I don't need that I don't need that but how gorgeous is this dress imagine that you go on to like on your vacation and you're wearing this dress with like I, I have you know my raffia earrings raffia shoes I would just do all raffia I think it's stunning and then I saw this dress from the brand as well which is not really as loud and bold but it's still really pretty so if you're looking for something different and you like colors check out Farm Rio they have really great things like really really great things next let's slide over to Menyar Dubois I love this website I haven't gotten anything from them since my puffer coat which was like a while ago we're talking about winter winter but I saw this skirt I may have ordered it comes in um, dark denim and white I got the white of course because it's so cute like how cute is it this but it's so cute they have a bunch of new denim on there um, I love these pleated shorts I feel like I'm gonna be definitely doing a lot of trouser shorts for the spring summer um, I love these shorts um, on the website as well love the skirt um, they just have a lot of great newness that you definitely should check out if you have a chance like some really cute things like very very cute things like even this set oh this tube set that comes in gray with like the tube and the gray like scrunched up skirt how cute is that check out Manier Dubois a lot of really really great things on there let's see what else we're looking for 
so next on the spring wish list so I love this jacket blazer from Reformation um, one of my style friends on Instagram Lachelle shared this and I was like oh this is nice this is like a linen jacket but I love how tapered it is it is 278 so it is something that I have to think about it comes in black and it also comes in the, the oatmeal I really love the oatmeal you guys know I love like white oatmeal I really like that I just love the shape it looks really nice and I was like hmm I'm really into it next I've been looking at this Norma Kamali dress for about two months <laughs> and I uh, I'm not really a dress girl because I feel like when you buy a dress for me you wear it like once or a few times like maybe you can get two times out of it but it's always a stretch but I saw this dress and I was like I have nowhere to go like so I'm not gonna just get it but I have somewhere to go so I'm like should I order this dress I feel like it's just me in a dress but then if I wear it in April it's gonna be too hot I don't know it's on my wish list I feel like I'm really into it I feel like I'm gonna get it Tell me what you guys think about the dress. Tell me what you think. And next, I'm looking for like a red sandal. Um, you guys know I have like my red booties from Jeffrey Campbell, but I wanted like a, a sandal, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I really want these Ferragamo ones. These were last year, but I see them on sale at a few places and they have like the straps on the side. I feel like they're really cute. I'm into them. I just have to decide like right now if I'm going to get them. And I just feel like I have a lot going on that I'm just like, I don't know if I can commit to that. But that's really what's on my spring wish list. Not a whole ton of things, but some things. But let me know if you like this video. Um, like this, like, subscribe. Hope to see you guys soon. Let me know which outfit was your favorite from my spring outfit ideas. And what is on your spring wish list? Let me know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Bye.